Hello y'all, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. Whew, for the vloggy thing. It is Saturday, it is time to tell you what's been going on. The whips, the foes, all the new stuff. Oh my gosh, and there is new stuff. Yes, okay, jumping into the life part first. Um, we finally replaced our coffee pot this week. We had just a regular, you know, perk pot, coffee pot. We decided we would upgrade, upgrade, if you know what that movie is from, like two bonus points to you, okay. Um, we got one that has like the K-cup thing on the side, but it's not an actual Keurig. No, we're not bougie, okay. But we have gone K-cup crazy. Went to Ollie's, bought all the things, and um, yes, be like like a lot better than have brewing a pot of coffee myself. Go in there, pick a flavor, you know, yeah. Anyway, that has been like a big part of our week this week. Also a big part of my week has been growing things. Oh my God, there is life coming up out of this dirt, okay? Um, did not expect the peppers to do anything yet because those peppers, they say take like two to three weeks to germinate, but I have got all kinds of greenery coming up from some of my other things, some basil, some beets. Um, yeah. <laughs> so if I can figure out how, I will put a picture in and show you what this looks like. And this is just six days, six days in. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to figure out what to do with these next. Anyhow. Wowzers, if I got the picture in there. If not, check my community tab because I'll put it in there. Yes, that is what's been going on this week. I've been going, wow, this is growing like so fast. Even the hubby's been like, wow, that's grown more since I looked at it yesterday. Yeah, it's really unbelievable. And it's been a lot of fun. Other stuff. I uh, told you a while back that the hubby had ordered me a crochet hook. And trying to find the little box that it came in because I set it here so I wouldn't lose it. There it is. It's a Clover Soft Touch because I was needing more five millimeter hooks. Thought, what the heck? He'll buy it. I'll try it. I got it. I opened it up and I went, oh, it's not soft. It says soft touch. There is nothing soft about this handle. This is like a really hard plastic. Yeah. And Looking at that hook, that just does not look like it'll grab much. I mean, what if you have to pull three or four strands through? So, I'm thinking, eh, this will be a backup, but I have a feeling that I like the Clover a more, more. A more, more? Yeah, I think you know what I mean. Okay, but I have another five millimeter hook, so there is that. Okay, now since... I don't have any technical foes today, finished objects. Oh, by the way, if you're new here, thank you. A lot of people have joined in lately and decided to join in on the fun. You might just be here for the peppers and plants. That's cool. You might just be here for Oscar, who I can see right over there, and I'll pick up and get him if I can. Yeah, let's do that. This is the teeny boy of which I speak. Look at the camera, sweet boy. He does. I don't know what a camera is, Mama. Oh, loves the scratching though. Yes, yes. That's a happy cat. Oh, oh my goodness, let me turn him over. He's actually a little easier to hold in a way that most cats don't like to be held. Hi, hello. Whether you're here for just the crochet, whether you're here for the munch, Oscar. Yes, touching mama, I know. Boop. Uh, whether you're here for the plants, whether you're here for the tastings and the food, thank you. I appreciate you. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you like, and uh, we'll see what else we can do. Right, Oscar? Oh. Oh, he likes this. Yes, the kitty sash. Do you see yourself? <laughs> you goofball. Okay, I'm putting him back on the bed. Sorry, there was, you know, feline interrupt us there. Um, okay, now down to the crochet. There is a lot of it this week, even though there's no actual finished objects. I have a pre-whip. Yeah, 
This is a bag that was made for me by uh, Miss Rita at Linus Design. If I can remember, I will stick her link up there. If not, it'll be down below. And this is a beautiful bag. But what's in this bag are two balls of this. The It's a Wrap. Hues. It's 50% acrylic, 50% cotton. Really pretty sort of red and purple colors or dark pink and purples. Let's see if it has a name. Jammin' Grape, it's called. Yaman is jammin', jammin' grape. I don't know where I got that from, but... It's a two fine, it says to use a 2.75 millimeter hook. I will probably go larger because I want it to be airy and lacy. I am going to attempt to make some kind of a shawl for Rose Likes Crochet for Wings. That'll be March's thing. But as you can see, it is a pre-whip. Not even a hook has been put in this bag yet. So there is that. Okay. Another whip that is ongoing is this guy. This is my corner to corner. It did not get as much love this week because I did work on something else. Uh, this I consider my sort of my TV project. This is done in mandala, ombre, the color is unicorn, and I have started my second ball. No, my third. My third cake, and I started that right here. I have not weaved that in yet, but that's where that started. So yeah, this is, it's getting big folks. Halfway through this, I think I'm gonna start decreasing because it's getting really, really big. But that is in that bag here, this one. And oh, that's just corner to corner and I'm doing it with what size hook? Who knows, I don't remember. That's why I keep it in this little bag. Oh, and I'm dropping it, hello. Five millimeter, I should have guessed. I use five millimeter for so much. This is not a Clover Amore. This is just a generic from uh, Wish.com that I got. And I actually ordered a couple more of them because I use the five so much. And I like to keep my hook with my project. Otherwise, I'm kind of ditzy and I forget it and lose it and stuff. Yes, I know I could write it down. What fun is that? Oh gosh, I'm running out of room. The other thing that I worked on a lot this week, okay, maybe not a lot, but more than I had been, that I've been getting scolded for by friends here on YouTube, another one of my cheapy five millimeter hooks, is the hubby blanket. Yes, it did get some love. The hubby was also happy to see that I was working on his blanket. Okay, have a few ends to weave in from the last several, but most of them are done through the blanket, so it's actually not as bad as you might think. And I got from here, this is my progress marker. I'm on, I'm halfway through this next row going across to this side. So let me move my progress marker while I'm thinking about it. See, I don't just ignore the hubby blanket. I actually like working on it, but there's just so much I wanna do, so much I wanna crochet. You ever get like that? You look around at your yarn and go, I want to make that and I want to make that and I want to make some of those and then there's just no time. I need to be independently wealthy. That's what it is. I need to be independently wealthy and not have to work. I have time to crochet. Yes, Th that sounds like an idea, right? But how does that happen? That's the question. All right, put this back in its really big project bag, which is just a bag from Christmas tree shops with lemons on it because I like lemons and I like the hubby. So, you know, he can be in the lemon bag. Oops, sorry about that crinkly noise. And this needs to sit on top because I did not put one of those pouches in here because apparently I just don't follow through on everything. Something else I've been working on that will get worked on later on today because I'm recording this before the live for it is Lisa Ladybird Loves Mystery Cow. Um, all I, I keep telling her, I, I know that it's a giraffe, <laughs> even though it's not, but uh, because we don't know what it is. We are learning as we go. This was the first week of it. It is in the round. I'm just spreading it out so you can see the stitches because this is a six weight and I've got tangled up things going here. I'm using Schackenmeyer, Studebaker, whatever it is, Lova yarn, color 00082. But this is wool 
and acrylic and a little bit of polyamide. It's not a wearable, um, but it's really, really a pretty yarn and it's chain spun, made in Italy. So we'll see what this ends up being. Week two coming up. There's still time to join. I will have her link somewhere there. Also, speaking of Miss Lisa, if you have not checked out her Race to 2K giveaway yet, y'all, it's going to be up here. It'll be linked down below. I might even, if I remember, stick it in the first comment. Tell her I sent you. And also, check her out. If you are not subscribed to Lisa, you really should be. If you're only here to look at my pictures of the green gardening stuff, she's got more of that. She actually gardens and has a greenhouse and stuff. She grows stuff. This is my first time growing stuff, right? She crochets. She does games. Lots of lives. Lots of fun. She's an absolute hoot. So check her out. Like I said, check her out. Subscribe. You have to be publicly subscribed to enter publicly subscribed and tell her I sent you say hey Deborah crochet life and stuff with Deborah because there's lots of Debra's about send sent you all right just just say it do that thing and the link will be there okay there is another crochet item that I don't think I had finished last week I can't remember now maybe I did have it finished last week Ugh. uh this is part of the hashtag rock 2022 AU with uh, Judy at Witch Piece Crafts. This was inspired by the album cover for Dr. Hook Greatest Hits. And there are two different versions of that album cover. The one that she showed actually had the picture in the big heart of two of the guys in the band um, with some different colors in there. And the one that I saw that's generally all around the world did not have their picture. So I didn't include much of their colors. But I just take colors inspired by it's corner to corner. It's bordered with a single crochet all the way around, then a half double all the way around. And I will be joining these squares into a blanket. Yes, we will have 24 squares. So that is a thing as well. Oh my gosh, have I forgotten anything? Yes. Yes. I knew I was forgetting something. The temperature blanket. Why did I stick a skein of yarn in there? I'm such a doofus. Okay. I don't know why I stuck that skein of yarn in there. What I'm doing for my temperature blanket, these are my colors for my temperatures. These are squares that were, one was a sample, one was one that I just totally messed up on. Um, I am doing little squares out of three weight yarn. One each and every day. The low temperature is represented in the middle. The high temperature is represented on the outside. This is the past few days, okay? We got a little bit warmer yesterday, but that's the past few days. And yes, I am joining them side to side as I go. This is the previous two rows. Now each row, blah, each row widthwise is 19 squares. Just the way the math had to work out. And there will be 20 rows. And yes, that doesn't equal 365. I evened it out by putting some bad numbers in there. That was the beginning of February. That's a two. Um, 22 for 2022 and one for January. And there are a few other squares that will be added in just to even it out of different design. But this is going to be nice and big. It is almost my wingspan and I'm like 5'11". Um, plus there will be a border afterwards. That's what I'm planning on anyway. This is just beginner crochet brain. But I think it looks kind of cool with all the blues. And it is in progress. I have kept up with it. I am proud of myself for that. Pat myself on the back. Because, yeah. It's a, it's a daily thing. I usually do it at lunch every day. Can't do it at lunch today because I'm recording this because I'm working today. Yeah. I work six days a week now at the moment. Um, roughly 65 hours a week. So my days and my weeks are hectic <laughs> to say the least. Um, what is coming up? Well, I'll be participating in Lisa's Cow. I'll be at work while she's doing her live. I'll catch the replay to make sure that I actually have the stitches down to do the thing. I frogged that sucker four times before I got it because evidently I can't count. Um, do check the description below. Always check the description of 
your creator's videos because sometimes there are surprises in there. You just never know. There's always interesting information. I haven't had anybody want to do any postcard swaps lately. And that makes me kind of sad because postcard swaps are a lot of fun. So check down below for information about that as well. Um, if you're not subscribed, I'd invite you to do so. At least consider it. Please hit that like button if you liked it. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. It'll make me sad, but you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, leave a comment down below as well. Thank you so much for coming by. I will see you very, very soon, hopefully. And um, bye, y'all.